finally got both of these things on a stand. I was nervous about this one hoisting it up. Uh, one, because the pallet was so big, I couldn't get the cherry picker underneath it. So I had to like jack it up and then swing it over. But then the pallet was in the way and it was hitting the oil pickup lines and all that. So a little nervous. And then the second thing was the bolts I used up top uh, for the chains. They weren't grade eight. And in this motor, the old one, everything hoisted up fine. You know, it stayed on the on the cherry picker for like two days until I could get back to it. Um, like suspended right above the ground, but it was still suspended. Uh, when I took them out, one of the bolts was bent and the other bolt snapped off into the top of uh, into the top of the head. So I was nervous. Now that I knew they weren't that strong, I was scared these were gonna break. I don't care if this motor falls. I do not want this motor falling. So I was a little nervous, but it's up here and I think we're out of the woods. Um, when I go to put it back in the truck, I'm gonna take these bolts out and replace them with two brand new ones. I'm not taking any chances. So these bolts here are gonna come out and uh, we're gonna put some new bolts in there. So I guess now what we gotta do is just start swapping parts. So that'll be the fun part. Stay tuned. All right, I'm out here working on the motor. Um, trying to finish getting everything together, painting the valve covers so I can get those back on, spark plugs in, all that good stuff. I still need to get a uh, harmonic balancer. I still haven't been able to get one. Long story. Anyway, what I am going to do is prime this motor. Um, I've seen a few videos on YouTube. So, let me show you what I do. So here's your oil filter. <clears throat> this is a 5.7 Hemi, the 345 cubic inch. Um, so here's your oil filter. There's two plugs right above it. Some of them are like on the front. This top one uh, will fill the top of the, like right where the <clears throat> valve springs are. They come right out of like these rockers. Um, and then the bottom one will fill the oil pump inside. You just pump it in there, spin it, and that's how you prime the motor so it doesn't start dry. So what I did, instead of buying that two and three hundred dollar tool, got a hand pump from Lowe's. I've got a three eighths NPT on one side, threaded one side, the other side to three eighths, um, <clears throat> barbed in, and then I just used two hose clamps, put one there and one on the other side, slipped it right over the nozzle for the other one. Um, but yeah, just prime that bad boy, prime the bottle, and then we'll just you can see it starting to move its way and then it should come out the top. So if you look right here, hope you guys can see this, there's oil coming out of here. <clears throat> so it's working. Uh, and I'm also turning the motor. As I'm priming all this, you can hear the air coming out. As I'm priming all this, I'm spinning the crank. So I'm spinning the whole motor and as these lifters and whatnot, they start, you know, up and down on the intake strokes and the exhaust. As they come down, they, you know, push out oil and that's where it's all coming out from. So now the oil system is primed. I'll do this a couple more times um, just to make sure it's completely primed and then we'll be good to go. We're oil primed. things I didn't replace. Everything else I replaced. CV valve is installed, EGR block off plate installed.
All right, got coolant in it, our steering fluid. I just put a couple gallons of fuel in here. Um, I think that's about it. Our steering fluid, coolant, gas. We'll see how this goes. Obviously, the system's gonna have to prime, so it's not gonna start right away, but I'm pretty nervous. My stomach hurts. <laughs> so, let's see how this goes. front bumper on but everything looks good um, nothing was like smoking or no crazy noises the headers are burning off like that initial coating or whatever but that was it no check engine light um, tomorrow I'll air up the tires and probably drive around the neighborhood see if we can uh, build pressure in the coolant system and oil and all that just to see if we got any leaks if we do we'll, we'll you know we'll adjust the leaks as we come but it's done I'm so relieved. I'm so happy right now. It's been a while since I drove this truck. It's been like four years. So this has been a long time coming. Finally got my baby back. I don't know what to do. I might like sleep out here in the truck tonight. I don't know. Well, I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, hopefully both videos. The removal of the old motor and this new one. The old motor, the piston rings were hanging out of that thing. It was it was bad. But hope you guys enjoy this, and uh, we'll see you next time. There's no telling what that video will be. Man, I'm so excited. I think I'm going to start the truck again and just sit in and let it idle. Peace.